Welcome back everyone. 1248 on this Wednesday afternoon. It is a warm start to this Wednesday afternoon and we are seeing some more sunshine after a cloudy start to the day. The temperatures right now lower 80s in Edinburgh, 76 though here in Westlaco, 80 in McAllen, 78 in Raymondville and Harlingen and 76 in Port Isabel. So we did set some record highs yesterday. Not as warm today though as yesterday. Our temperatures will reach the upper 70s at 3 p.m. Though some places will see lower 80s, especially out west. We'll see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and we're back to the lower 70s at 6 o'clock this evening and then partly cloudy at 9 p.m. with temperatures in the upper 60s. Now overnight tonight the clouds will increase and once again there is a good chance for some patchy fog late tonight into early Thursday morning. So please do be careful when driving tomorrow morning on your way to work or school. Here's a surface map. You can see the front is over the Gulf of Mexico. It has passed through our area. We are seeing showers and thunderstorms associated with the front moving through parts of the southeast and the central Gulf Coast. A lot of heavy rain for Atlanta for the Midland part of South Carolina as well as North Carolina. That's all pushing off to the east. For us, it should stay rain free here in the valley for today. If you don't like the cold weather, well, it's going to be warm for tomorrow and for Friday. Then another front arrives by Friday night, putting the brakes on that warm weather just in time for the weekend. Right now, the temperatures across the state, 51 degrees in Amarillo, 68 in Del Rio, 66 in Laredo, 60 in Abilene, 59 in Dallas, Fort Worth, and 72 degrees in Houston. Up north on I-35, right now 19 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 21 in Green Bay, 35 in Chicago, 37 in Des Moines, out west 21 in Bismarck, and 35 degrees in Rapid City. Look at Winnipeg right now, 1 degree Fahrenheit. So here is Future Track, and the front that's over the Gulf of Mexico will push back to the north as a warm front. Our temperature tomorrow here in the valley and Friday will be back in the lower 80s. And if you like the warm weather, enjoy tomorrow and Friday because by Friday night, a stronger front comes in. That's going to knock our high temperatures back to the 60s, just in time for Saturday and Christmas Eve Sunday. There is a chance for some showers Friday night and Saturday morning, thanks to the front. And uh, midnight Saturday looks rather wet up in Dallas, Fort Worth, East Texas, and Central Texas, according to Future Track. So it's cooler on Saturday and Sunday with highs in the 60s. And then another front comes in by Sunday. So when you wake up Christmas morning, it's going to feel like Christmas, folks, with temperatures Monday morning in the mid 40s. It's going to feel pretty nice during the day on Christmas. Christmas Day Monday, and then afterwards it's a rapid warm up just in time for Tuesday the day after Christmas. Another front may start to approach central Texas by the middle of next week. On the water, we'll have winds out of the north to northeast at 5 to 10 knots. The bay waters are smooth. Your next tide is a high tide at 717 this evening, and the seas will be 2 to 4 feet. There is a chance for a few isolated showers offshore. So for today, it's partly cloudy to mostly sunny and warm for this afternoon with a high temperature in the upper 70s. In some places out west, we'll see lower 80s. Then for tonight, beware of patchy fog late tonight into early Thursday morning with low temperatures dipping into the mid 60s. So here's that seven day forecast, and we have something for everyone. Warm weather or cool weather, you name it. 83 for the first day of winter, 83 on Friday, but it's going to feel more like winter come this weekend. 67 on Saturday, 66 on Sunday, Christmas Eve. So for Christmas Day, Monday, we're calling for a morning low 46 and high temperatures only in the lower 60s. That's your first one five forecast. Now here's Jennifer.